The Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi, patron saint of animals and environment, could be viewed as the original Earth Day advocate. Francis's devotion to God was expressed through his love for all of God's creation. St. Francis cared for, the, cared for this poor and sick. He preached sermons to animals and praised all creatures as brothers and sisters under God. Thank you. 
Nike is a blessing because she has adventure to the patent family and is Clayton's best buddy. This is Nala. She is a blessing to the Anderson family because she remind, reminds them to slow down, to act on their passions, and to take time to play. Rue Majewski is headed home after a long day's work. She is the best therapy dog and brings everyone so much joy, especially now since many people living in long-term care haven't been able to see their own family, including pets, in over six months. Rue brings happiness and joy to the long, isolated days of so many. Wrigley, Oliver, and Cooper Osmond are a blessing to Anne, Andy, and George Osmond because they love them unconditionally and offer comfort to them when they need it. They are also good to George and they are teaching him how to love others and how to receive love. This is Sugar Turpin. Sugar is a blessing because he always shows unconditional love and even on a rainy day. Rayleigh is such a blessing to the Yonda family. Rayleigh is always there to greet them when they come home and has been such a blessing to their son, Matt. Abe Lincoln has been with the Lincoln family through many ups and downs. He is a giant teddy bear to their daughter and a blessing to their family. Abe recently celebrated his 10th birthday. This is Kevin Larson. Kevin is one of five Kevin Larson peacocks at the Lord Larson home. All five Kevin peacocks are blessings because of their beauty, their poop is used as garden fertilizer, and their unique morning tunes. Briggs and Bootsy Tharp. Briggs is this tiger stripe cat. He is about four and a half years old, and Briggs found Brad Tharp at Briggs Woods Golf Course when he was about three weeks old. Briggs ran up Brad's leg, cold, scared, hungry. Brad brought Briggs home because he knew Briggs wouldn't survive. Brad is still Briggs', Briggs is hero. Bootsy is about 10 years old. She found the Tharp house one cold March night when the Tharp grandkids were eating dinner with them. Bootsy showed up on their deck. They tried to find the owner but never did. Briggs and Bootsy have been very calming and affectionate during the craziness of the last several months. They make the Tharps laugh and bring them joy. And Briggs still likes to climb the Christmas tree. Oh, Weldy, Belle, and Hazel Grace Austin are such blessings to Sarah and her family and friends. Belle is so loyal. Weldy is a stinker, but he is such a, a lover. Belle is your companion and will go wherever you want to go. And Hazel Grace is the ultimate mother hen to all of us. They truly are. Blessings in life wouldn't be the same without them.
if you are St. Francis um, pet charms along the collar or whatever. So let's begin the blessing.
Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of all things and giver of all life, let your blessings be upon all these animals. May our animal friend have good health, happy lives, and always be protected and safe. We ask for better understanding as we learn from the wisdom, innocence, and loyalty of our animal friends, along with their seeming ability to not judge human beings unkindly. Thank you for the pleasures, playfulness, and sometimes the surprising humor our pets display. Thank you for their companionship and friendship, especially for those lonely hours we may have experienced. Thank you for our companions' natural ability to teach us to be aware of the present moment. Thank you for the beauty of every animal. Their form, color, texture, and motion are all works of art. May we appreciate your creation of these masterpieces. Bless all animals in harm's way. Heal the sick. Protect those who are lost and comfort all those who mourn the loss of a beloved pet. May all our relationships with animals mirror your love as we strive to imitate the love of Jesus Christ our Lord and God's servant, Francis. Amen. And if you would please rise, we will join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Join in our ascending song.
the whole and every grain of sand of it. Love every leaf, every ray of God's light. Love the animals, love the plants, love everything. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. Once you perceive it, you will begin to comprehend it better every day. And you will come at last to love the whole world with an all-embracing love. Go out into God's world, live in peace with one another and with all God's creatures. Thanks be to God.